Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Barcelona. Barcelona's cultural roots go back 2,000 years. Since the arrival of democracy, the Catalan language has been promoted, both by recovering works from the past and by stimulating the creation of new works. Barcelona is designated as a world-class city by the Globalization and World Cities Study Group and Network. It has also been part of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network as a city of literature since 2015. Barcelona has many venues for live music and theater, including the world-renowned Gran Teatro del Liceo Opera House, the Teatro Nacional de Catalunya, the Teatro Lear and the Palau de la Musica Catalana Concert Hall. Barcelona also is home to the Barcelona Symphony and Catalonia National Orchestra, the largest symphonic orchestra in Catalonia. In 1999, the OBC inaugurated its new venue in the brand new auditorium. It performs around 75 concerts per season and its current director is AGOA. It is home to the Barcelona Guitar Orchestra, directed by Sergi Vicente. The major thoroughfare of La Rambla is home to mime artists and street performers. Yearly, two major pop music festivals take place in the city, the Sonar Festival and the Primavera Sound Festival. The city also has a thriving alternative music scene, with groups such as the Pinker Tones receiving international attention. El Periódico de Catalunya Louisiana Vanguardia and Ara are Barcelona's three major daily newspapers while Sport and El Mundo Deportivo are the city's two major sports daily newspapers, published by the same companies. The city is also served by a number of smaller publications such as Ara and El Punavui, by nationwide newspapers with special Barcelona editions like El País and El Mundo, and by several free newspapers like 20 Minutos and K. Barcelona's oldest and main online newspaper Vila Web is also the oldest one in Europe. Several major FM stations include Catalunya Radio, RAC1, RAC105 and Cadena Ser. Barcelona also has a local TV stations, VTV, owned by City Council. The headquarters of Televisió de Catalunya, Catalonia's public network, are located in Sant Joan Despi, in Barcelona's metropolitan area. Barcelona is also home to numerous social centers and illegal squats that effectively form a shadow society mainly made up of the unemployed, immigrants, dropouts, anarchists, anti-authoritarians and autonomists. Peter Gelderloos estimates that there are around 200 squatted buildings and 40 social centers across the city with thousands of inhabitants, making it one of the largest squatter movements in the world. He notes that they pirate electricity, internet and water allowing them to live on less than one euro a day. He argues that these squats embrace an anarcho-communist and anti-work philosophy, often freely fixing up new houses, cleaning, patching roofs, installing windows, toilets, showers, lights and kitchens. In the wake of austerity, the squats have provided a number of social services to the surrounding residents, including bicycle repair workshops, carpentry workshops, self-defense classes, free libraries, community gardens, free meals, computer labs, language classes, theater groups, free medical care and legal support services. The squats help elderly residents avoid eviction and organize various protests throughout Barcelona. Notable squats include Convise and Canmastu. Police have repeatedly tried to shut down the squatters' movement with waves of evictions and raids, but the movement is still going strong.